making a quick video talking about power delivery USB-C ports on these power stations. If you have one that has the in and out, the bi-directional function, you can indeed use that with solar. So this will give you some more flexibility, some more options here. Now we'll kind of talk about there are upsides and downsides to using USB-C, you know, compared to the standard solar input. So this is awesome because Let's say, you know, you have two 100 watt panels, you know, you'd have to hook them up together, right? You'd have to hook them up together either in parallel or series. And series, you know, is fairly easy to do if your solar panel has MC4 and the power station can accept a high voltage, right? This particular one can only accept 24 volts, so series is out of the question. So you'd have to do parallel, which means you'd have to get an adapter, you know, or if you have a solar panel that just has like a standard DC output, you know, barrel cable on it, you're gonna need an adapter either way, and you might even need to make your own adapter. So for the solar panel, what you're gonna have to look for is a PD USB-C output on here, you know, a high output, not just, you know, 18 watts or something. I mean, you know, of course you could use that, but you're not gonna get much power, especially if you have like a 100 watt panel. This one here, is actually a 65 watt. So that kind of brings us to one of the downsides here is that you're not gonna get as much power from the USB-C as you would from the DC cable going into an MPPT. I mean, that's the whole reason MPPT was invented, right? Because to get the most power, to get the maximum amount of power. So, you know, but again, if this makes it easier for you to add another solar panel, or let's say you got your MPPT maxed out. This will actually allow you to go beyond that, exceed basically the stated maximum solar input. All right, I plugged it in. Plugged it into the DC MPPT input. And actually we're getting, I can't even see that. Can you, you guys see what that's saying? All right, so the sun is full out now. So I, I guess we're gonna do the comparison with full sun. And yeah, we can't, I can't see it on the camera, but it's getting, it's getting 73 or 72 watts. There it is, you can see it, 70, oh, 71, 72. All right, let's put the USB-C in real quick. Our USB-C is in, and we're getting 52 watts. You might have to take my word for it. Oh, you can see it, 52. Yeah, so that is a big difference. But again, you know, think about it. If you can just easily add another panel, it's 52 more, 52 more watts than what you would have been getting. 